Hi, welcome to AFTV. We've just beaten Brighton here at the Amex 4-2. A good win for Arsenal, a good way to see out the end of the year. It was a great win, but first of all, I'd just like to pay, pay my respects to Pele. Yep. He scored over a thousand goals yep. and, and he won three World Cups. Amazing player. It's, it's a shame he didn't play more in Europe. Yeah. But a legend, no, no, well, a, a legend, legend in, in, his own, in his own right. A legend is banded out too easily these days, but he, he's one of the greatest ever players. If you watch the clips, if you watch some clips, those pitches aren't like, like they are now, nice and flat and like carpet. They're yeah. all, they're all mud and so, and, and for those who want to see Pele, you can see him, you can see him on YouTube, especially in the 1970 World Cup against England. Bobby Moore made a great tackle on him, which is quite famous. Because it's quite famous because he was a great player. And to make a clean tackle like that on him is unbelievable. So back to back to today's game. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was a routine win. A routine he, win against a, Brighton away. A routine win. Is that he, what we're saying? Well, <laughs> today was a routine win. We should be going places like Brighton and picking up these points. Yeah. We should be going places like Brighton. Now we got the early goal, which settled the nerves. Even even if Brighton would have scored first, I wouldn't have been scared because this is a new Arsenal. West Ham scored, but it was one 0 at half time. This is a this is a brand new Arsenal. We've instilled something. We've instilled something. We backed our coach. We backed our coach, and we said he said what he wants, and and we have played to that. So I have to say, I saw a stat recently. If we play like we are, we will get more points than the undefeated season. Now, for me, that's not a better season because to go, to hunt season, to go the whole season unbeaten is just unbelievable. Mm. So, I'm not comparing the two teams. I'm just saying, if we play like that, and for City to drop points and Newcastle, they played first, so we, we, knew, we knew what we was going into. Mm. But I remember standing out here in Brighton over the years. I've been over here many years. I'm an old man now, so I've been over here many years. I've seen us get beat here. I've seen us cry here. Yeah. It seems to always rain here for some reason. I don't know... We, but that's by the sea because it always rains. But, it, but it's still a routine win. But for us, but, but for us, we, we were three nil up. And when you're three nil up, yeah. the one thing you don't change is your defence. And you don't only make one change in defence. You decide to make two at the same time. So you, you've got to make an adjustment where you're making two two players. I know it weren't the two centre backs, but it was the two full backs. You're, what you should have done is took some of the full players off, rested them because not not only. Not only did he take the two full-backs off, he probably took the best holding midfield in the Premier League at the minute, in Partey off. So you're taking that protection away and you're taking the two full-backs who are in the game yeah. but know what they're doing. And you're putting Saliba there, who's fairly rusty. So, so it was expected that Brian were going to get one. We were going to get one. We were going to get one. And then it was expected they were going to get one. Now, what I'll finish up saying, we're going against Newcastle, we can beat Newcastle, I reckon. We can show um, Joe Willick what he's missing. Yeah. But um, what we're doing here is, what we're doing here is, you say Joe Joe Willick? Willick, what he's missing here, but <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in just for, just for a laugh. No, but what I'm saying is, if we keep believing, now if Arsenal are serious about winning this title, we will go ahead and press and get a proper striker. Now, Eddie Nketiah is a good player. But he's not a great player. When he, he's not even a very good player. He's just a decent standard Premier League player. Whoa, whoa! Really? League. After these two performances, you still think that? He saved us, cost the goals last season as well towards well, the end. Well, I would have called back <coughs> Balogun and, and played him because he, he's on form banging them in. Who showed more, though, <laughs> at Arsenal Football Club? Eddie or Balogun? Well, you're saying who showed more at Arsenal. Eddie's been here three or four years. Balogun's only been here two years, so but it's a bit hard to say because he's. But what I'm saying is he's banging me, banging me near France at the minute. And Kelly scored a great goal last week, but today, today he works hard. But when when Jesus isn't playing, there's something missing there. So you're missing somebody. You're missing somebody who can create something by himself. So what I'm saying is, if Arsenal are serious about winning this title, we will go ahead and we will press ahead and we'll get a proper striker. And what I'm going to say is. What I'm going to say is I believe we can do it and with seven points we can afford to lose minimum two games. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.